Okay, so for this one, we have our price as $250 and our markup is 10%. I'm going to show you a shortcut for how to get around it. Last time we talked about this, we take our, our base, 250, and multiply it by 10%. 10% can also be written as 0 0.10 or just 0 0.1. So multiply it times 0 0.1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 2 is 0. Add them up. I have 250, but I have one decimal place, so I moved over one decimal place. So my markup is going to be $25. Now I, I, now I add that to my base, so I have $250 added up. I have 5, 7, and 2, so I should have $275. Now that's a really long way to go for a kind of simple problem. There is a shorter way. What I'm basically doing is I'm taking 100% of my base and I'm adding 10% to it. In essence, I'm finding what is 110% of my base. So can I just use this and, and then use that for my problem? Absolutely I can. So I take this, I convert it to a decimal. This will be 1.10 because I move it over two places be 1.10 or just 1.1. Now I can multiply it times my original. So I'll have $250 times 1.1. I'll do this. I have 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. Now I have a placeholder 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 2 is 2. I add them up. And I have one decimal place, so I have one decimal place. Just like that, I have $5. That was a much shorter way than doing it the long way. So in essence, I can think of this as two, it's two different problems. One is where I do it, is where I find a percent and then add it to my base, or I can take a little shortcut, add my percentages up, and just apply those as a whole to my base. Either one will get you the right answer, but one, I think, is a whole lot easier. You can't do this without understanding the first one, so I wanted to give you that first, but here's a shortcut, that, here's a shortcut that will help you moving forward. Thank you. Have a good one.